Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Welcome back everybody to Big Mike's Movie Reviews. This is the last movie review I'll be recording for you guys for my vacation down here in sunny and humid Central Florida. Today is Friday, November 11th, 2022, and I'm talking about the two films I saw on Tuesday the 8th. I already spoke about my first one, which was a full drama called Armageddon Time by James Gray. This one is a dramedy. And I'm going to tell you guys right here and now, I know that you know the title of the film. It's The Banshees of Inishirin. I'm going to tell you straight up. This is also one of my favorite films of the year. And what I love about it, it is so authentically Irish. You see, let me explain. The movie takes place in Ireland, and it was filmed in Ireland. It was written and directed by an Irish man, Martin McDonough, who is well known for doing the films in Bruges as well as Three Billboards Outside of Ebbing, Missouri. And it stars Irish actor Colin Farrell, Irish actor Brendan Gleeson, Irish actor Barry Keoghan, and Irish actress Carrie Condon. You can't get more Irish than that. And it's great because First of all, that film in Bruges that I just mentioned that Martin directed, that already had two of those guys. It had Brendan Gleeson and Colin Farrell as well, but it also had Ralph Fiennes as well, who's a British actor, but regardless. I've always enjoyed Martin McDonough's films because he has such a way of making movies pop. They have such a style to them where they never feel boring. There's a constant sense of flow, and there's always one or two really shocking moments that he has in his films that really catch you off guard. And it's almost always about the three-quarter mark into his films. And The Banshees of Inishirin is no exception to that rule. And the story is rather simple. The movie takes place pretty much a hundred years ago. It takes place in 1923. So we'll just say a hundred years ago because it'll be a hundred years in terms of storytelling in two months from now. So I digress. So about a hundred years ago, you've got these people, maybe a population of 200 at the most, who live on a small island in Ireland. And one day, this man, Brendan Gleeson, he just decides, I don't want to be friends with you anymore, to Colin Farrell's character. And that's his lifelong best friend ever since they were children. They were raised on this island together. And he just says, I don't want to be friends with you. He thinks he's dull. He just doesn't like him. And Colin Farrell, who considers himself to be a good guy and a nice guy, he says, well, to hell with it. I don't accept that. And honestly, who would? I can relate to that because I've had things like that happen to me before. But I digress. This isn't about me. And the movie takes a really crazy turn. And this is in the trailer. When Brendan Gleeson's character, who is so dead set on being alone from just this one person, because he's still friends with everybody else, that he tells Colin Farrell, if you talk to me again, I'm gonna cut off my fingers, one at a time, and I'm gonna throw them at your house. Because he says he has a pair of sheep shears he'll do it with. And that's insane. And in between this, the mediator, his sister, played by Carrie Condon, is trying to bring these two together as friends. And all at the same time, you've got this guy Barry Keoghan, who's also friends with Colin Farrell, who's also trying to see the difference between the two. And I really like how there's such a small, tight-knit group of characters, because when you have less, it's more. And when you have this smaller, tight-knit group of terrific actors with different types of motivations and perspectives, it makes everything pop, because your focus is a lot more limited, but it's also a lot stronger because you have less to focus on. You don't want to have a character overload. And the film does a great job with making everything flow. There's not one boring scene in this film. The movie runs 103 minutes. There's not one boring moment. Everything feels so genuine. And it really does make one question, are we friends or not? You know, like, what is the value of friendship? When is enough enough? What is the tipping point? You know, it has a lot of layers to it. 
underneath the guise of the darkness that it also has as well. And it makes a lot of strong points, you know, because even though Colin Farrell's character is nice and well-meaning, he does a lot of dumb shit. He shoots his mouth off quite a bit. And Brendan Gleeson, he does a terrific job, but he also has really crazy motivations for the reasons of wanting to do what he does because he doesn't want to be friends with this person. It's like the fact that he's that hell-bent to cut off his digits because he doesn't want to be friends with someone, that's crazy. But at the same time, again, the performances are great. The ending is a little predictable, but that's okay. But everything else in between, it all just works. Everything is terrific. The cinematography from Ben Davis is a chef's kiss. It's gorgeous. It felt nice and cool. And the way that everything looks in Ireland is gorgeous. Carter Burwell's score really works well for this movie. Everything just works. This movie is definitely a shoe in at the awards season. I wouldn't be surprised if Colin Farrell at least got his first nomination, at least with the Golden Globes. And this is a movie you definitely gotta see. So definitely check out the trailer below and check this out as soon as you can. And with that being said, I'm going to give the Banshees of Innis Sharon a well-deserved A+. This was a fine film, great A entertainment, loved it from start to finish. I can't wait to get my hands on it. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my reviews thus far on vacation. When I return back next week in L.A., I'll have some more music reactions for you guys. But I will also be posting, so look forward to these, a couple of the videos from the Halloween Horror Nights mazes that I got to attend while working there. So look forward to those as well. I'll be posting those in the next couple of days or so. So you guys will have a little something to look forward to. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching thus far. I'm going to get back to my family for the next couple of days that I'm here. You guys take care, you be well, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you at the movies. You guys take care, and you be well. See you later.